Film jammers. Hey, film jammers. We're here again with our friend Mercedes. Yes, that's her real name. Mm -hmm. And today we're testing out four different lenses to see which is the best all around lens for steady cam and gimbal. And we've got footage of each, so let's ride. Where are we riding? Uh So today we'll be testing out three zoom lenses and one prime lens. We'll be shooting on our Steadicam Aero 30 and the Canon C200, which has an amazing autofocus face tracking. It's gonna track her face, keep her in focus. It's just the technology, we're not that talented. And here are the lenses in the test. The Canon 16 to 35 F4 IS lens. The Sigma 18 to 35 F1.8 lens. The Tokina 11 to 16 F2.8 lens and the Sigma 14 millimeter 1.8 prime. Good selection. Mm -hmm. So each of these lenses has their advantages. The Canon 16 to 35 millimeter and the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter have a really nice range for most situations and they're the sharpest of the bunch. The Tokina 11 to 16 has the widest perspective in the bunch for those times when you need a little extra, uh, but it's also the softest lens in the bunch. The Tokina is also the cheapest lens, so keep that in mind, almost half the price of the Canon zoom and the Sigma zoom. The Canon 1635 and the Sigma 14 millimeter are the only lenses that are full frame in this bunch. So keep that in mind if you are shooting on a larger format sensor. You don't wanna get all vignetted. Mm -mm. So the Sigma 14 millimeter 1.8 lens is a really interesting lens. It's very wide at 14 millimeters and you can get really shallow depth of field with it, which is uncommon for most wide angle lenses. Most wide angle lenses are not that shallow. So you can get some very unique perspectives with it. Cool. All right, well enough with the chitter chatter. Let's see what the lenses look like on the camera. Oh. Boop, 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 boop. Light guy. Sean and a Mercedes. Gotta have all those. Okay, so if you could only have one of these lenses, what would it be? Mm, well, they all give pretty similar results, but if you could only have one, I'd probably pick the Sigma 1835 as you get a wide aperture at 1.8 and a nice range of focal length. I don't shoot on a full frame camera, so I don't need that feature. Mm -mm. 
and it is one of the cheaper ones. Nice choice. So I personally am going to choose the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter to get that little extra range on the wider end of the focal range. And I need that full frame look, okay? I need that full frame range. It also has image stabilization, which for me is useful when I'm not using it on my Steadicam or gimbal. And it's not too much more money than the Sigma 18 to 35. I definitely feel like the Sigma 14 millimeter and the Tokina 11 to 16 are fun lenses but more for specialty use. Mm -hmm. Like bird watching. Yeah. Actually, they'd be terrible for bird watching. They'd be more like a secondary lens for me after getting either the Canon 16 to 35 or the Sigma 18 to 35. One thing to factor in when shooting Steadicam and gimbal is if you change your lens, especially to a different size lens, you're going to have to rebalance because of the difference in weight of that lens. Keep that in mind, kids. So there is a big advantage to using a zoom lens when you need to grab a few different focal lengths and you don't have the time to rebalance. Mm-hmm, now we got time for that. If you're in the market for one of these lenses, here are the current prices. The Canon 16 to 35 is $999. The Sigma 18 to 35 is $639. The Tokina 11 to 16 is $379. The Sigma 14 millimeter is $1,599. We've also got links below if you wanna pick one up. Mm. Hmm. Convenient. Convenient links for your shopping needs. Go click. Let us know down in the comments what lens you think is best for Steadicam and Gimbal. Thanks for watching Film Jammers. We'll see you again next week. Here we go. Let's do it. Mercedes got this in the bag.